Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make some gloves. Alright, so um, first off we're going to need a character um, because obviously you want the gloves to fit a character uh, or boys with kind of pointless because if you make a glove and it don't fit a character you're working on it, you know, it isn't going to work very well. Um, so so I'm just going to weaker character here in uh, Make Human. So yeah, build up a character in Make Human, and then um, once you're happy with what character you have, let go to Export, and we export this out. And we'll save it here. Oh, wrong format. Sorry about that. Right. Make sure you ha have FBX or OBJ selected. And let's export that out again. So, yep, like so. And, yep, okay. All right. Now we come over to Blender. Delete that sub sub. Don't need that. We just only want OBJ. And save me time, I'll copy the URL. Alright. Um, first thing first, I'm going to need to um, activate my Shrinkcast keys. Um, note down here um, is, you know, you'll see the keys I'm hitting. And I inverted my mouse, so instead of uh, le uh, left clicking, we'll, um, place this cursor anywhere where I click it's the other way around but other from that and the UI uh, is different um, everything else is pretty much the same um, so yeah we're going to want to import our mesh so we'll find that and we'll open that up All right. and hopefully our character is way too small so I'm going to scale them up by 10 and just to make things look a little bit nicer um, I'm going to to edit that um, and give that smooth shading. Uh, you don't have to. It does. I don't. I don't like the flat shading. Uh, yeah, we get rid of these eyeballs as we don't need them. Right, like so. And um, let's pretty much cut the um, arm off. A nice, simple way of doing this is doing a um, loop selection, holding down Alt and clicking. Uh, ring cast keys isn't showing that so depending on wh where you click is on how it can select the loop cut so yeah I'm going to delete uh, that face and now I'm going to select some loops here and I'm holding down um, control and plus on numpad and just hold, just hold that down and now just keep selecting all the um, faces there and we'll just uh, delete faces and now we can add a uh, mirror modifier um, mirror modifier there we go so we've got two arms uh, so what we do on this one will appear over here um, so first thing first we're going to go back into object mode hint tab uh, shift D to duplicate zero so it's not going to move anywhere and enter and now we're going to edit that All right and I'm going to delete this uh, edge selection here holding down oh while I'm selecting and then um, I'm going to do exactly the same what I did with the body here and delete that All right um and for the fingers, I'm going to um, oh, do loop selection. Oh, if I can get the right one. All right, there we go. So it, I'm going to cut the ends off the fingers. Yep, so the fingertips are going to be sticking out of the glove. Right. Like so. 
and do the same for the fam. And we just delete them and do some loop selections here. And all right, and then holding down Control and plus uh, on the numpad. Um, if you um, if control plus on numpad isn't working, make sure you've um, got numlock um, enabled. Uh, I'm not really sure how you do on laptop, so you might have to look into that. Um, so we delete them faces. And now we, as you can kind of see, it's pretty much a glove <laughs> already. So that's really nice and simple. Oh, I've got to select this one over here. Right. That little pinky can go as well. Um, now what we're going to want to add is a um, solidify, I do believe, and oh, oh, right, just slowly. If you hold down shift while you're moving it, it fine tunes it a little bit. You know, makes it a bit more easier to move. Without going by an extreme. So okay, that's probably about uh, one. I'll set that to one. Um, uh, we've got some uh, stuff going on here where the um, hand is sticking through, I believe. So we just uh, only uh, only rim, or whatever that's called. Uh, enable that. That looks like it made it a bit better. And um, I'm pretty happy with that glove, to be honest. So I'm going to apply. Um, solidify a bit working on the other side uh, so back into object mode apply um, solidify we're going to hide the hat um, arms and now what we're going to do is do some loop selection here so yep and okay um, so I'm going to do that um and then, all right, I want my solidify back. Maybe I want to take that and do apply. Alright, now if I hide my arms. Yeah, that I think that's better. Yeah. Alright, okay. Um so all that is doing is adding uh topology on the inside of the glove as well. Uh the reason why I want Topology on the inside is this for the extra polygons around the uh, ends of the um, glove. So I'll, I'll show you. Um, we're going to leave the loop around the edge here. So we're going to delete the one um, slightly above it. Oh, okay. And done that. Alright, we'll delete that. And we're going to select um, that interior in here and just hold down control and plus. And we select all that and we delete faces. Um, the reason why we w want to do that is just in case um, you know, you can kind of just in case you can kind of see through the glove a little bit. So what we will do is um, now uh, select the vertexes with um, Alt. Uh, Alt when, when you do multiple selections, you hold down Alt and Shift for uh, multiple um, loop selections. So I should have mentioned that. Uh, okay, I should delete them as well. Right. Okay, so we go around, select these again. Right. Like so. And uh, we we'll select that one as well. And that one. Alright. And now we go down here and individual origins. Yeah, we want to enable that. And we just scale that in. Uh, the reason why we have individual origins instead of the default, if we have it on default, it would scale it all kind of in the center of the mass of what's selected. And that isn't what we wanted to say. Yeah. And now we bring back our hands, and we've pretty much got a glove. Uh, we can just um, now, if we wanted to, we could just take that into um, sculpting and 
add more detail into it. Uh, we can use it on the rack and stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it. Um, if you notice, that you, you do have a little bit of shading problems around here. Um, you could add a edge split modifier and we decrease. Oh we move that up a little bit, All right? Like so, All right? So we just pull that back slightly, so we it makes it um, edges along here a uh, lot more smoother. Or instead of doing that, we could actually get our club back in edit mode. Um, go around select all these faces and just kind of smooth them out by beveling so we'll do that as well and we'll see how that works it should work it might be a bit too thin um, when you make the gloves you want to make sure the f um, fingers aren't overlapping too much you know you don't want to make the glove too big that the fingers overlapping here as that may cause um, some problems with animation if you want to animate. Alright, so I'm going to hold down Control and B and ooh, holding Shift down now as well to slightly tweak it a bit more fine. Alright, and like so, it will sort that um, shading issue out as well. And if we really wanted to go in and um, we could actually um, like select uh, this part here and I think it OE OE uh, this one here we're going to use uh, vertex norm normals and we'll just extrude that in like so uh, delete faces as you don't need th um, the faces on the inside they're not serving any purpose. Unless you actually want them to do a 3D print them, you probably want to leave the solidify as well. But it, I'm guessing you're probably more wanting to do game art. As a, well, the channel is more based around. And we'll just move that out a little bit as well. And it gives it a bit more of a soft touch. And if we um, select everything and do. Uh, W and smooth, it would just soften that out a little bit more. And now we've got some issues around here. Well, isn't um, too too bad? We can fix them with um, I can't remember what that thing called. Uh, just hit, hit um, O on the keyboard. It enables uh, this thing down here. And oh, I can't remember what it's called, but well, um, you know, we want to go to vertex. Select the vertex around here, and we we'll pull that out a little bit, right? And we're going to roll our mouse wheel a little bit, right? so we can just slightly, you know, pull it out a little bit. We we'll just tweak these areas, right? So, so it isn't sticking into our hand, and we're not getting this nasty part coming through, right? So we just slightly fine tune it, and it just Oh, oh, it called it edge, edge no, uh, no, um, can't remember what it called. Don't know. How, well, I know what it called. I just can't pronounce it very well. Right, and we just keep doing that. Oh, we've got a little bit down here as well. It's you know different camera angles will show up more or less. Like like right here, you can kind of see it a bit more get closer it kind of disappeared here's a bit so we just move that one out a bit more as that part was in a bit more all right and I'm I would pretty much say that it's looking pretty damn good yeah that's pretty much how you how you make a glove um nothing is if you're making the game you want to actually Depending, yeah, you probably. Well, depending on ha how you got your stuff set up, you might want to actually. Um, well, you are going to want to delete the internal faces of the hand, not inc 
not including this part what we can see here um, because you want less topology but if you go and able make it so your character can um, take gloves on and off you might want to make a uh, model where the characters actually don't have the gloves on and that hand's still there or um, and when uh, you put the gloves on you know you get a match was uh, I'll show you um, hide that we're going to pretty much select the hand here um, so okay that is a nice loop selection alright so Um, maybe uh, I'll go and try and get it from the knuckle. Um, go and hit O again, turn that thing off, or we turn on. Um, deselect that part. Right, let's keep going. Okay. Okay, so try and rough it out, and we're going to want to bring that back. Okay, so we turn it out. Okay. So we're going to turn it back on. Right. These fingers out too much. Oh. Like so. Uh, we don't want these parts selected. And if we delete faces now, that would be um, lower poly count. And like so. So yeah, we could take these gloves into um, sculpting. We would have to un unwrap them and stuff and sculpt them and stuff. Uh, that probably going to be a future tutorial. So um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, till next time, catch you later.